tell you about the, uh, I would say almost a love affair of any airlines uh, having jumbos, especially for Air France. Uh, let's go back a little bit in the history. I'm not going to make you a story about the jumbo, even though I love it so much. My dad used to fly them too, way back. And uh, if you look at the history in the 1960s, there was a 707. That was the uh, long range going across the Atlantic. It had 149 passengers. When they made up the jumbo, it was more than double that, 350 passengers. And on one engine of a 747 was more powerful than a four engine of a 707. So if you look at Boeing, if you still go now, you will see in the uh, place, the assembly line of the 747, it's, called, it's written uh, on a big board, uh, we build legend. And I think that uh, the 747 is one of those big stories. Air France has a long story uh, with a 747. The first one, if I do remember, was a 747-100 that joined the fleet uh, in 1970, April uh, the 9th. It was the Fox Bravo Victor Papa Alpha. I think that was the uh, registration. But anyway, it was a 100 with Pratt & Whitney's. That was the first, first of all the aircraft uh, that was built by Boeing. And then uh, after this, we had a bunch of different ones. Uh, the 747-200, the 747-300, we had a 747 uh, cargo, what we call a freighter. We had uh, the 747 uh, 400 ERF, Extended Ranger Freighter, which is a cargo, and the BCF. It's a Boeing uh, converted freighter. So it's a bunch of different airplanes. You have to understand that uh, the great part, the great part of this airplane, it's extremely redundant. It's easy to fly. It's uh, pilot friendly, and uh, any pilot that will fly Boeing, whichever it's a classic, which is the 1, 2, 300 series or 400, will fall in love. I've never heard any pilot criticizing this aircraft. I would like you enough to be able to fly uh, as a co-pilot and as an instructor on the 100, 200, 300, the freighter, and the 400. Pretty much everything is uh, fourfold. It's multiplied by four. Four engines, four electrical system, four hydraulic systems. Uh, so it is, is if, as far as I can remember, I have more than 6,000 hours of flight on a 747, and uh, I ne never had any kind of uh, discrepancies or problem. Or if I did have one, it was a very small one. Uh, so this aircraft is extremely pilot friendly. This is the part of uh, uh, my point of view, but it's shared among uh, the pilots with the fleet. This love affair will end with the Air France. Uh, some companies did decide to buy the 800. We did not do that. We have the A380 but the jumbo will leave the fleet. As I said before, uh, Boeing men, Boeing people, and women at uh, Boeing Field uh, in Washington State uh, used to call this the queen of the skies. Tells you a lot about the, uh, you know that the British, the English use the she for airplanes and ships, and I do believe they're right, because it has a lot of class. It's uh, beautiful. If you look at the airplane from outside, it's almost 50 years old. If you look at the 747 from the one up to the 400, with some differences, like the 300 with a up, stretch upper deck and a 400, but it's still the same aircraft. The only difference is that it has new uh, technology inside, the FMSs, ACAS, and uh, other kind of uh, system, but the airplane is still the same. It flies the same way. So uh, basically, when uh, it will leave our fleet, it will make a big, uh, a lot of people sad.